What's up everybody, this video we're going to show you the current working method for gift cards to friends in GTA Online. Now at the start of the video I'm going to show you the 100% solo glitch out method and then a bit later on I'll show you the two player glitch out method because just in case I know there's a lot of people that prefer the two player ones to the solo ones. So for the solo one guys, just get any car from your arena workshop, um, you can call it out already if you're on the map, um, I'm just driving it outside from here. Uh, you also need to have access to the Los Santos car meet, so that's a 50k membership, um, so that you can use the test track in there. Um, as well as that, you'll need to have a job in your phone, so if you call up Simeon, Gerald, Martin or something like that, um, you can just request a job or if you hang around for a couple of minutes in free roam they will eventually send you a job. So once you've got one of those job invites on your phone um, and you've got your car from your arena workshop just make your way over to Los Santos car meet. Once you're inside of the car meet just hop back into your vehicle, press square or X and Xbox to bring up the vehicle options and then all you want to do is choose the test track. Now you can either choose enter alone or enter with other players, it really doesn't matter. Once you're inside of the test track, you're just going to turn 180 and you'll be facing the exit. And then you want to bring up the job invite from Simeon or Gerald or whatever on your phone. Now you want to go to the invitation screen and then you're going to drive up to the exit. And as soon as your car stops, you're going to spam X on PlayStation, A on Xbox. Even through that little menu that pops up, just keep spamming it. As soon as you enter the job, guys, just back out, circle X, and you'll see the screen flashing. You may get a black screen after a couple of seconds, then the black screen will go away, and you will spawn back inside of the Los Santos Carmi area. Now, you'll notice when you do respawn in that there is no minimap, so you'll just need to run over to your personal vehicle. It will be in the same car spot as it was in before you went into the test track, so if you can remember the exact location, just head over to there again. Um, all you're going to do, guys, is simply hop into your vehicle, press circle or B on Xbox, and you will exit out of the car meet. Now all you need to do is drive your way over to your arena and you're just going to simply drive into your workshop. This is the a garage that you actually got the car from guys. So as soon as you choose workshop level you'll see this kind of glitchy screen. Just press triangle to get out of your car and you'll notice that your vehicle is driving away by itself. Hey, sorted. <laughs> so that's you. Just to test that you're fully glitched out guys, all you're going to do is bring up the interaction menu, go to your inventory and call out your RC Bandito. Now you can also go into one of your 10 car apartment garages, just walk into the garage and walk back out and you're looking for your character to flash, just the same as you're seeing right now with the RC Bandito as soon as you exit. So call out the Bandito, exit the Bandito and if your character flashes you're absolutely perfect. Um, now, if sometimes if you, you could be actually kind of frozen at that point, all you need to do is get your friend to hop into his 10 car apartment garage and send you an invite to it. Once you have accepted the invite, you'll just walk back out, you'll see your character flash and you'll know you're glitched out as well. So from here guys, all you need to do is call out the vehicle that you're going to be replacing over and head to the Give Cars to Friends location. Now, once you're at the location, your friend obviously should be here with the vehicle you're going to receive. Just open up the interaction menu, go to services and request your MOC. Now, if you stand kind of where I am in the map facing the opposite direction, the MOC should spawn directly behind you, as you'll see just in a second. There we go. Um, right exactly where we want to be. So, all you need to do is hop inside of the vehicle you're going to be replacing over and ask your friend to hop in with you. Once your friend is in the car with you, he's just going to bring up the pause menu and sit on that until you finish this next step. Go to the back of the MOC, press right D-pad and accept the alert to replace. If there's anything in the MOC, it's just going to go to the garage you called the car you're replacing from. So once your friend's kicked out of the car, drive back up a little bit and jump outside. Bring up the story mode menu by pressing down, switching to Franklin and declining the alert. 
run into the back of the MOC, choose enter alone and you're just going to do the same again with the story mode alert. So hold down in the D-pad for, for a couple of seconds, flicking up on the right analog stick until you get the alert again. And again, decline the alert. You should spawn invisible now and all you're going to do is just quickly run over to the vehicle that you're going to be storing. So for me, it's going to be one of the brand new DLC cars that I've just brought online with DMO. Hence the reason you see the black screen here in the video. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's all you need to do. Um, you'll not experience this obviously unless it's a DMO vehicle. Um, from here, all you would do is walk outside the MOC. So that is all of Give Cars to Friends glitch guys and it includes the 100% solo glitch out method. Um, I am going to show you right now the two player method for that. So you and your friend both in the same invite only session, you are going to make your way down to the arena and you're going to call up one of your cars from the arena workshop. Um, at this point, your friend, probably be up at the Give Cars to Friends location, is just going to go to the online tab and just host any job, he's just want to sit in the missions lobby of any kind of job, Titan of a job or something like that. Um, now it does work in friend sessions, crew sessions, public sessions and all that, I just prefer to do it in an invite only session because I prefer getting the private alert, I find it works a little bit better that way. So the idea here guys is we're going to join the friend that's in the job at the same time as driving into the arena workshop we've got the car from. Now, the problem with this is, as soon as we bring up the PlayStation menu or the um, Xbox menu, the Gary's options is going to kind of drop straight away. So what we need to do is back up a little bit, get a good bit of pace in the car and drive into it. And while we're driving in, we're going to join our friend. So as you've seen there, I just joined them to get the mission alert coming through rather quickly so join them once decline it then you're good to go so a wee bit of pace guys just before you get to the door double tap your ps button or open your xbox menu join your friend who's in the job and then quickly spam x array when you come back and that time as you see is a fail because we didn't do it in enough time so about 20 feet or so you're gonna double tap your ps button or bring up your xbox menu to join your friend who's in the job so as i say you want to get a wee bit of pace guys go quite fast join your friend here spam x array and you are going to hopefully accept the arena workshop level and accept your friend's invites as well as I say, with the private alert in the invite only session, there's no spawning into the jobs. If you're in a friend session or something like that, you will spawn in the job. So you'll see the kind of glitchy screen, just press triangle or Y to get out of the car. And again, you'll respawn. All you're going to do is go to in inventory and call out your RC Bandito. Press triangle at this point and you'll see if your character flashes. If it flashes, then you know you're glitched out, you're good to go. You can head up to the Give Cars to Friends location. So that is the two player method guys. As I say, it's, it's a little bit more tricky than the solo method, but solo method for me works fine. I know there's just a lot of you guys that prefer the two player method to the solo method. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bokka boy out. Peace.